Hi everybody. So I am going to do a video about the um about the not the chromes but the halos. And I'm doing a video about the halos because I got a few different kinds. This halo here is called mirror powder. I got that from the Saracen, which is out of Korea. This one is from a priest and i got that local in san antonio at pronail this one i got from that beauty secrets that's on um facebook and actually since it was so cheap i bought two and actually they looks like they got it from born pretty and and resold it to me now i have a polish wheel here and it's been coated with one coat of gel from tally tammy taylor i used the gel against line and this one is called Holt Couture. I haven't top coated yet, so I'm gonna go through a few different top coats. I like the Aurora base gel, which to me works the best for a lot of the chromes. It doesn't matter which brand, and they have a base in the top. So put this one on first, rubbing your chrome after you cure, rubbing your chrome, and then this one on the top. I have the Apres gel top, which you actually put on first, cure. Do your chrome and then go ahead and put a top coat using the same thing and then i have the accents which i've used this one before but i i like the aurora one better so i want to see how these work and which one actually works the best um i'm gonna start with the base gel from aurora since that's my fave and i'm just gonna coat three of them because I have three different halos to try. And I only did one coat of gel uh, gel color. Because it doesn't really matter. We're, I'm just using it so that we can see the difference between which one does which. And I'm just doing this nice and even coat. Make sure I cover the whole now. So our first three is going to be the Aurora. The second three, let's go ahead and do the eight priests. Uh, just because we want it to be fair. So nice coat. One, two, three. Make sure it's even. And then the last three, we're going to do the accents shine on. Mm. Make sure the whole nail is nice and evenly coated. Mm. And I'm going to pop it into my lamp and cure it. And I'll do some observations of the different chrome products. I'm also going to use three separate um, wedges, beauty wedges to rub it in because I don't want to not cross contaminate but I don't want to confuse the two and have one work better than the other because I am still have a little residual from an opposite one so that's going to pop into the light and then I'm going to go over what they look like. Okay so this is the one from a priest which honestly I love this one. It's super fine and I think the fineness is what makes it do what it has to do. That's my favorite, which is you can tell because there's less of it in there. This is the Shine Hologram. This is the one I got from um, the Saracen. And this one is actually pretty fine too. But it's still, it's a little, it's a little lighter than that one. It's pretty fine, but it's a little lighter. Okay, and I like their container, like the little pore spout. That's cute. And then this one here is from, I think it's called Beauty Secrets. It looks, in between the three, it looks the most, it looks a little bit grainier. But, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one is going to do what I want better. And like I said, I'm going to grab three uh, makeup wedges because I don't want to not cross-contaminate. That's not what I mean. I don't want to... I'm going to give each one their own makeup wedge. That way I can make sure that I'm doing a good test. And I think I just got these from like the dollar store. I like the thicker ones. But you know it's from the dollar store. Look at that one. It won't even come apart. I do like the thicker ones. They got some that are more spongy than others. But this is like a tight, tighter knit sponge if that's what you can say. 
It's like this is another one that's from a different dollar store. You see the difference between the two and the sponginess. Still spongy, but this one's got more holes that you can distinguish it as a sponge. It doesn't matter, but I'm just saying personal preference. So, three different top coats. This one is Aurora. This one is a priest. Whoops. This one is a priest. And then this one is eh, wait, one, two. Well, I only got two left. This one is um what is it? Accents. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this one another. Add another one because I want three on three. Three on three. Slide it back into the light. Cook it for a second. Okay, so really the reason that I am doing this is because everybody is like buying all these chromes, these halos, and all this stuff, and like we're spending big bucks. Okay, we're spending big bucks. Let's just be honest. We're spending this little thing right here. This was like thirty-five, forty dollars, right for this little bitty bit. This was about the same. Well, probably about twenty-eight dollars, but I got it shipped international from Korea. This one it was $24 and I got two of them. And I'm sure it came from China because, like I said, it came in this form pretty. And then I bought two of them. I like the packaging. I like this little Ziploc baggie. But that's not what I'm here for. Not for Ziplocs. I'm here for. Let's make sure these products is working right. All right. So let's put this top coat on top of this one that's already cured. And I just, like I said, I did one coat of gel. Uh, the Tammy Taylor Gel Against alt couture and then i did one coat of each three top coats the accents the eight priests and the aurora aurora pretty much is my fave for chromes in general i just feel like it's it's got it going on all right so we're curing that up and then once I pop that out the light, I'm not going to top coat them because I don't want to waste top coat on a practice. But I'm not going to top coat them. But we're going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly how it looks. All right. So, out of the light. Everybody's nice and cured. And usually what you do is you just dab the sponge in there. Get some on the sponge. And then rub it in. So, the first one on each set is going to be uh, this one from Born Pretty. Okay, so on the, I'm getting good coverage with it, not bad, and that is the Aurora top coat, so then the third one here, this one's going to be a Priest top coat, it is not, I repeat, not sticking at all, like I could just wipe that off, and then this one is Accents. Yeah, it's not really sticking to the accents at all. So it likes it likes the Aurora top, and that's the one from Born Pretty. So for Born Pretty, it didn't come with a top coat. So I will stick to Aurora when using that one. I can't see any of the color under it, so I mean that's cool, full coverage. I like it. I like it. Now, we're going to grab the halo here from the Saracen. And I think I'm saying that right. And this is the Aurora top coat first. Alright, I like it. It's a different sparkle. It's more like gunmetal silver. I think you can see more of the color through this one. But not bad. So, then this one is going to be the A Priest. So, let's... Mm -mm. It's not It's not liking the A-Priest top coat at all So the A-Priest top coat The way they sold it to me I can take this one and use it to do The base layer and then rub it on top of it And then coat it with that So that one doesn't like that Let's try it with the accent So that's going to be this nail here Same sponge mm, Not liking the accents no, I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay? So, so far, Aurora is our winner. <laughs> it's able to accept all the pigments. Fresh new sponge. This is the one from, I think it's from Apries, but I'm not exactly sure. I got it from Pro Nail in San Antonio.
nice but you can tell a different type of sparkle also still still the same type of sparkle but you can tell uh that the the chrome is different the pigment it's a little bit tighter on this one because i think because it's finer so it's tighter on that one you've got a few spaces in between the pigments on this one this one is bigger particles definitely one two three so let's try it here no it's not like in the a priest top coat so that a priest top coat i'm just gonna probably end up using it just at the top this is accents if you rub a little bit harder yeah it'll go on accents but I'm rubbing it really hard. And I think it's because this one is actually a little bit finer. So let me go back to the halo. See if I rub it harder on the accents. Which, I mean, if you're holding a client's tail, they kind of give them hand. They're giving pressure against, against you. No, that was a fail. So that didn't do anything, but just wasted. it. Okay, so this is what I have come up with. This one that I got from ProNail, I'm not sure who it's by. I think a Priest, but it's finer and it actually works better uh, than the other ones in my mind. It will accept the Accents top coat as a non-rum top to stick to, but the a Priest top coat, not so much. The other ones, pretty much the Aurora top coat is what does it. The one I got from Born Pretty, it's not bad, but it is bigger car particles which I can tell when I'm rubbing it the one here that I bought local is finer and the one here the halo mirror powder that I bought from Korea is also just as fine but I do like this part um sparkle here is a little bit more silver this one is a little bit more muted it's still shiny but like the silver is brighter than these two silvers okay well, since we got it here, why don't we just go ahead and hit it with a little top coat and see what we get. And I'm just going to use the Apri since it's going to have to be my go-to top coat of choice when I run out of my Aurora. Mm, coat's up pretty nice. I don't have a lot coming off on my brush. Not that I can see. Normal. Okay. So, the one that we got that I got from Beauty Secrets is fine. It's bigger. You got to do a little bit work, but the Aurora base at least is going to be a winner for all pigments for me across the board. I'm going to pop this in the lap and cure, but you all got you all know how it's going to turn out. In any case, happy purchasing. If you have any questions about this or if you want me to try something else that you bought and you can't figure it out, go ahead and put that information in the comments and I'll check it out. Thank you guys for joining me.